This week we've got heroes and villains, lovers and monsters, and a film to suit every taste. Welcome to the Movie Preview Show. Coming up, dating gets complicated for buddies in Zac Efron's contemporary rom-com, That Awkward Moment. A Navy SEAL mission to track down an Al-Qaeda leader goes wrong for Mark Wahlberg and friends in true-life action movie Lone Survivor. We delve into the week's other major movies, including the Christian Bale crime drama Out of the Furnace, Cycling Exposé The Armstrong Lie, Profile of a French photographer Raymond Depardon Journal de France, and the Aaron Eckhart-led action horror I, Frankenstein. And we take a look ahead to an upcoming release as vampires Tom Hiddleston and Tilda Swinton recount their centuries-long gothic romance in Only Lovers Left Alive. Expect cheeky comedy and ribald romance as we delve into the modern-day dating scene in the hilarious rom-com That Awkward Moment. Is that ice cream? Yeah, it's peanut butter chocolate. Give me the ice cream. No, I need it. My girl broke up with me. Oh, what are you, Bridget Jones? Give me the ice cream. Back up, little man. Give me the ice cream. Come on, yes, ice cream. We're going out. Starring heartthrob Zac Efron and rising stars Michael B. Jordan and Miles Teller, this hilarious expose of 21st century dating finds three buddies questioning their carefree lifestyles when they seemingly find their respect. Ms. Wright. For Efron, this script's unique mixture of romance and bromance enticed him to sign up. I took the role because I just enjoyed the story. I think that this is kind of a unique movie. And you don't really see movies like this made anymore. It's pretty unique in terms of like male bonding and the coming of age story. It's it sort of just it reminds me of a uh, an old 80s film, you know? That awkward moment is revealed in cinemas from Wednesday the 29th of January. Mark Wahlberg, Taylor Kitsch, Emile Hirsch and Ben Foster are four Navy SEALs caught behind enemy lines and fighting for their lives in action and thriller Lone Survivor. Based on the explosive best-selling book, Lone Survivor is the story of a mission to capture a notorious Al-Qaeda leader. It all goes terribly wrong after a fateful decision sees them pursued through the mountains of Afghanistan by a terrorist army. To do justice, to this heart-pounding true tale of bravery and survival, director Peter Berg ensured his movie was mired in realism and authenticity. It took me about two years to write the script, spent a lot of time with Navy SEALs. I went to Iraq and, and embedded with the Navy SEAL platoon, 15 SEALs up by the Syrian border for a month. That was an extraordinary experience. And, you know, I wanted to be able to walk onto the set direct to direct the film, knowing Marcus Sattrell would be there, knowing that we had a group of Navy SEAL consultants. It was important to me to be able to look them in the eye and say, look, I did everything I could as a filmmaker to understand your community. Lone Survivor hits cinemas from Friday the 31st of January. Also coming up next week is a rich selection of dramas, thrillers and documentaries. Steel worker Christian Bale is on the hunt for justice after his brother Casey Affleck falls foul of local gangsters led by Woody Harrelson in the gritty thriller Out of the Furnace. Documentarian Alex Gibney follows former cycling star Lance Armstrong on the road just as doping allegations come to light and ruin the Tour de France legend's reputation in The Armstrong Line. The life and times of Gallic photographer Raymond Depardon are juxtaposed with a raw expose of modern French history in the beautiful and probing documentary Journal de France, and Aaron Eckhart breathes new life into Mary Shelley's creature as the super strong monster gets caught up in an explosive war between two clans in I, Frankenstein. Coming soon, vampires Tom Hiddleston and Tilda Swinton discover that love is eternal in director Jim Jarmusch's tale of undying devotion, Only Lovers Left Alive. 1868, her third wedding. He looks so young. Give my regard to that suicidally romantic scoundrel. Well, let's hope he's just romantic. Hiddleston plays Adam, a reclusive musician who has developed distaste for humankind. A spark is reignited in the depressed vampire's heart when he's reunited with his very long-term lover Eve, played by Tilda Swinton. While fans of the Twilight Saga are sure to fall in love with this romantic and witty tale of star-crossed bloodsuckers, Hiddleston says the film breathes new life into the vampire genre. Really, the, the vampire conceit is, is something it's for him to explore the idea of immortality and um, you know, if you were two lovers who could live forever um, and forever really means forever, how does that change your love for each other, your acceptance of each other, um, how you spend your time, how you waste time, music, art, poetry, that kind of thing. And um, 
and this film is about that. Despite being sorely tested by the behaviour of Eve's wild and uncontrollable younger sister Ava, played by Mia Wasikowska, this timeless duo make for one of cinema's most loved up pairs. Only Lovers Left Alive is released in cinemas from Friday the 21st of February, with advanced previews at select cinemas nationwide on Valentine's Day. Whether it's a drama, documentary, thriller or comedy you're looking for, there's sure to be something you'll love coming soon to your local cinema. So get booking those tickets. And as awards season heats up, don't forget to catch all the winning movies that are still on general release. That's all from the Movie Preview Show for now. Join us on Twitter and Facebook to win prizes and to get all the latest film news.